A professor fired for his anti-Zionist beliefs was unfairly dismissed, an employment tribunal ruled on Monday. David Miller a professor of political sociology at the UK's University of Bristol, was dismissed in October 2021 because of gross misconduct in relation to a series of statements and comments he made in February 2021, per court records of the ruling. During an online event entitled, Building the Campaign for Free Speech, Miller criticized Zionist activities and linked Jewish student groups in the UK to political objectives allied with Israel. After the event, he was quickly confronted with charges on social media of having been anti-Semitic. Shortly after, Miller wrote an article titled, We Must Resist Israel's War on British Universities, in which he described Jewish students on British campuses as, political pawns being used by a violent, racist foreign regime engaged in ethnic cleansing. The university said at the time that it carried out a full independent investigation and a disciplinary hearing into Miller's statements, and found that they did not constitute unlawful speech. However, it said that Miller, did not meet the standards of behavior we expect from staff, and terminated his employment with immediate effect on October 1, 2021. Miller filed an appeal against the university's decision, which was rejected in February 2022. Two days later, he took the university to the employment tribunal on the grounds of direct belief discrimination, indirect discrimination because of belief contrary, harassment related to belief contrary, unfair dismissal, and wrongful dismissal. Miller claimed that the university unfairly and discriminatorily mistreated him during the course of the procedures, which ultimately resulted in his dismissal. He also claimed that since at least March 2019 he has been the target of a coordinated campaign by people and organizations opposed to his beliefs, with the ultimate goal of getting him fired. The university failed to support him during that campaign, he said. Jewish students at the University of Bristol, meanwhile, claimed that the university failed to support them, saying that Miller's positions made them feel unsafe. The Employment Tribunal said in its 108-page ruling on Monday that Miller had been wrongfully fired and had been subjected to prejudice because of his philosophical beliefs in violation of the UK's Equality Act 2010. Cases of firings and resignations have also occurred on U.S. campuses in recent months. Since Hamas' October 7 terrorist attacks on Israel, tensions around the conflict in the Middle East have spread across elite U.S. institutions like Harvard, Yale, and the University of Pennsylvania, with donors pulling funding over institutions' responses to Hamas attack and alleged anti-Semitism on campus. Penn President Elizabeth Magill and Harvard President Claudine Gay resigned from their respective roles in December and January, linked to the issue.